Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Contemporary Resort and we are going to be dining at the California Grill. This is one of the best and most expensive restaurants on Disney property and I love it here. They have a new menu that I've been wanting to try because they have a new steak entree that looks phenomenal and I figured today was the perfect day. So we're going to eat some food, watch the sunset and have a beautiful California Grill kind of day. Any who's, let's go do this. And here is Disney's Contemporary Resort. We're going to be dining at the very top of the resort right there. And it is so beautiful up there. It overlooks the Magic Kingdom so you can see the castle. You can see all the rides running. And it's beautiful during the sunset. So hopefully we timed it right. For a while there, California Grill was doing a prefixed menu for the 50th anniversary. And when the 50th anniversary ended, they decided to just keep the prefix. And they changed out the different selections that you can get. And it's $89 for three courses. And that's just the base price. The steak that I want to get is a $47 upcharge. And there's a whole bunch of other enhancements that you can choose from. But the food here is always phenomenal. And the views are even better. So I am very excited to show you guys I love coming to the contemporary resort and just walking around it is so beautiful here like just the resort grounds themselves you've got all the Bay Lake over here you got the marina it's just a beautiful resort the past couple of days it's been so rainy here in Florida so it's been hard to get out in the parks without getting caught in a thunderstorm so a nice little resort day and dining at a fancy little restaurant is the perfect thing to do today here is the check-in for the California Grill and they do have a dress code so I'm probably gonna have to take my hat off which I don't mind I usually take my hat off depending on what restaurant we're at to get to the California Grill, you have to take a private elevator all the way to the top of the resort. And that is the only way to get up there without having to climb all of the steps on the outside, which I have done before, but it is not easy. It's a lot of steps. On the same floor where you go to check in for the California Grill, they have the Ballroom of the Americas. And this is a little fun fact, but Richard Nixon actually made his I'm not a crook speech right here in the Ballroom of the Americas. Isn't that so cool? Look, I pulled up my YouTube so you guys can hear it. This, this happened right here. Mistakes. But in all of my years of public life, people have got to know whether or not their president's a crook. Well, I'm not a crook. I've earned everything I've got. Funny because the first comment is, fun fact, the speech took place at Disney World. I am all checked in and I requested to sit next to a window so I can stare out at the Magic Kingdom and hopefully the observation decks are open. They have little decks on the outside where you can walk out and look over and it's really cool at night because you get to watch the fireworks from up there and uh, yeah, sometimes they close them because of the weather. If the weather's bad and it's very windy, they don't open them up but I think we should be in the clear. Here is a look at the new menu at California Grill. Like I mentioned, it's $89 per person, but you can add on different wine pairings, one for $39 and then the deluxe one for $69. And it's three courses, so you choose an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. And they have some amazing appetizers. My favorite is the braised beef short rib wontons. And then they also have the goat cheese ravioli. A lot of people like a black truffle pizza. And then for entrees, the one that I was like, uh, the one I was looking to try today is the Wagyu strip loin right here. This is a $47 upcharge, and it comes with kimchi, fried rice, steamed dumplings, bok choy, and uh, crispy lotus root. It sounds so good, but all of the other entrees are good, like the oak-fired filet of beef. They have some fire-roasted venison. They've got a pork tenderloin, a lot of good stuff. Oh, a black sea bass, even. And then, of course, for the desserts, they have so many new things to go. They've got the lemon chiffon cake, the citrus creme brulee. California Grill's known for their creme brulee though. Like they always have a seasonal one. And uh, yeah, we'll decide once we get up there. But I just wanted to give you a quick look. Here we go. It's time to head up. Go in the elevator. And then 15th floor. Bada bing. 
right, we have made it up to the restaurant and I want to give you guys a little tour. It looks like the observation decks are closed for uh, the uh, weather, but the back one's open. So I'm going to take you guys back there. But here is the main dining area. I also just found out that they have a bar menu so you can come up to the bar if you don't want to get the prefix to pay the $89 you can just order a la carte at the bar and they don't have a lot of the entrees a la carte but they have most of the uh, appetizers like the wonton and the pizzas and stuff like that and you can also get the uh, prefix at the bar if you wanted to as well. Here is that amazing view. Look at that, you can see Cinderella Castle right there. You can see Big Thunder Mountain, you can see Tron. You can even see Tiana's Bayou Adventure getting worked on right there. And like I said, now this uh, observation deck, this is a, a much better view and it might open up later on if the weather stays good, but this back one is always open. You can always come out here. And even on this side, it's a beautiful view too. Look at Bay Lake. It gets a little windy up here, but isn't that amazing? Oh, I love it up here so much. All right, we are all settled in, and my waitress, Mo, who is fantastic. If you guys come to California Grill, ask for Mo. Uh, she went over the menu with me, and she pointed out some of the new additions to the new menu, and one of them being the black truffle pizza. So I'm gonna do the black truffle pizza as my appetizer, and it's really hard for me to pass up on the wontons because I love them so much, but she she informed me that the Wagyu strip loin that I'm gonna be getting actually comes with wontons. And instead of the short rib ones, you get Wagyu wontons. So now I'm very excited. So we're gonna do the black truffle pizza, we're gonna do the Wagyu strip loin, and then we're gonna do one of the new desserts. And it looks so good, all of it does. Look at how amazing this view is, right from your table. Isn't that great? Oh. I'm telling you, I can spend hours up here just staring out. And if there's a little storm, one time I caught lightning kind of hitting Cinderella Castle and I thought it was so cool. And just watching the sunset, I don't think we're gonna catch the sunset though. It seems it's getting uh, like darker later in the evening. So it's probably not gonna get dark until like 8.30 probably tonight. But look at all of this. Look at all of Disney right here. And here is Mo. Me and Mo have been friends for, we were just talking about like five years, right? Yes. Yeah, and it all started when I came here to California Grill for brunch. For brunch. And uh, we became friends and we hang out outside and we have mutual friends and she's the best. Mo is the best. I ended up receiving a muse and it is a tomato strawberry gazpacho and it's a shooter. You actually just shoot this down. Look at how fancy that is. I'm very excited. I don't, I've never had anything like this before. In fact, I don't even know what it is, but we're gonna shoot it. To be honest, I'm a little afraid because I don't know what it is. But I, I like tomatoes and I like strawberries, so it's not gonna be horrible, but here we go. Oh, it's very good. It's actually really good. It's like a spicy, it, it tastes like a spicy strawberry smoothie. To start off, they do bring out a bread service and they got a new bread service too. They, uh, it looks like they switched to a sourdough and it looks really good. Baked fresh in house, very crispy. And I'm gonna have a little ginger ale with my meal today. But this stuff right here, this is where it's at. This goes well, and they always had this, but I can't wait to try it with the new bread. Now it's time to get to the bread business here. I'm gonna take some of this and just put it right on there like that. Oh yeah. I can't wait to try this new bread. Here we go. Gonna dive in on the bread. <laughs> this bread is so good. I wish I could just hollow it out and put some stew in there. Do you guys ever do that with like bread? You hollow out the inside and you put either uh, like uh, denti more or uh, like gumbo inside of the bread. It is so good, but I love it. It is such good bread. I definitely don't want to eat all the bread because uh, I've got a lot of food coming out and I'm excited to try the black truffle pizza that's coming out next. I mean, it's got to be something good for me to order it instead of the uh, beef uh, short rib wontons. 
And here it is, the black truffle pizza. We've got some fresh truffle on the top right there, and then the potato chips. It actually looks a lot better than I thought it was. It's a very tiny pizza though, like a 10 inch pizza. And uh, they make the house, uh, they make the dough in house, and they use like mineral water to make it nice and soft. Ooh, it's very crispy. I'm trying to fold it and then break off a piece. Look at that. This is gonna be so interesting. I don't think I've ever eaten a pizza like this before, but I am excited. I do put potato chips on my sandwiches, so I'm gonna kind of like the crunchy like texture, but uh, here we go, first bite. We're going in on a truffle pizza. Wow. This is so incredible. The textures are just overwhelming between the dough and the truffle and then the potato chips. I'm in love. I honestly really love this. It's shocking to me because I was a little iffy with it and the truffle is not like very strong. Like it's there, but it's not like truffle fries. It's not very pungent and uh, it's a great balance. Great balance with great texture. Phenomenal. Great addition. Mo came over and made a celebration on my table here. Isn't it so fun? Look at that. Woo! They do this for like birthdays and anniversaries, but it's just me celebrating life, eating black truffle pizza. I feel like that's uh, enough for a celebration. As much as I love this pizza, uh, I don't think it's gonna take my top spot for the uh, wontons. As much as I love it, but the wontons are just so good. And I would say it's like one and two. Like if I'm not getting the wontons, I'll probably get this. And I'm excited to try the Wagyu wontons that come with my meal. I just asked, and they're gonna open up the observation decks a half an hour before the fireworks actually start. We won't be here for it, but if I did want to come back, if you come and dine here and it's earlier in the afternoon, you can bring your receipt back and come back up and actually watch the fireworks from out there if you want to. But that's when they're gonna open those up, so we won't be able to see it today. Another thing I want to point out about that truffle pizza, it actually has like a honey sauce on it. So it adds a little sweetness to like the uh, uh, truffle taste itself. And it was really good and unexpected. And here it is, the main event, the Wagyu strip loin. Look at this. I am so impressed with the presentation. It comes on a nice little California grill board right here. Here is the Wagyu wontons. Don't they look so good? Look at them. Oh boy. And then they've got the bok choy right here. This is kimchi bok choy. And then they also have the Wagyu uh, uh, fried rice. So there's actually pieces of steak inside the fried rice. And it all just looks amazing. Wow. I'm so excited to eat this. It looks incredible. Because I feel like the wontons are like a appetizer, I think I'm gonna start with them first. Oh, they're so delicate. Look at this. Oh, I am so excited. They might have a little spice to them because the short rib, uh, the short rib ones do too. But here we go. Look at that. Holy moly. It's like a big chunk of steak right inside there. That's incredible. So good. Holy moly. The wontons definitely have a little kick to them, but it is so good. The flavor is amazing. And then take a look at the steak here. Look at that, a little salt on there. I asked for a cooked uh, medium rare plus, and uh, it came out perfect. I was going to ask for it Pittsburgh, but... I don't want to mess around with the Wagyu, you know? And uh, yeah, I think we're going to jump right into the steak now. I'm going to take this piece right on top. Whenever I get a fancy steak, I think I cut things smaller. Like, I cut the bites into smaller pieces because I want to enjoy it longer. So here we go. First, uh, first bite. Wow. Holy moly. It like melts and dissolves right in your mouth. Phenomenal. I'm gonna have to do like a little rotation. Eat half of a wonton, bite a steak, 
dive into the rice and then repeat until it's all gone. So now we're gonna <laughs> jump into the kimchi fried rice here. Look at that. Oh yeah. There are so many great things I love about this meal. The steak, the wontons, the fried rice. I mean, it is $137 though. So this is a $137 meal. And I feel like as a, every, uh, you know, once in a while, like nice little treat for yourself or for special occasions, it's definitely worth it. And if you wanted to get the wine pairing with it, uh, it'd be about a $200 meal. So it could be $200 for this altogether. But like I said, you gotta live a little bit, especially during special times. I started off by cutting this wonton this time because I just wanted to be able to have it right in center. Oh my lord. Look at all that steak juice coming out of there. This might be one of the most elevated meals I think I've ever had. There's just something special about it. Like as you're going through, it's kind of like a, a Wagyu sampler between the wontons, the rice, and the steak itself. And you, you know, sometimes when you eat something and it's got so much flavor, you know you're eating something special. That's exactly what happens when you take a bite into this. Out of any of it, it is so good. I've, I've already eaten all the steak. Like it's all gone, the wontons are gone. And now I'm just finishing up my rice. Ain't got much, ain't got, definitely not taking any of this home. Well, that steak did not stand a chance. And for dessert, instead of going with the creme brulee, I decided to go with the new uh, chiffon cake. And it's a lemon blueberry one. And look at this. Doesn't it look so pretty and artful? I can't wait to try it. This is new to the menu and a lot of people have said it's phenomenal. So I'm sure it will be. Everything else has been amazing. All right, here we go. Take a little piece from the side here. Make sure you get the blueberry on there. Excellent. It's so funny because I have this hair tie that I hold my uh, tripod together. Like I wrap a hair tie around it so it doesn't jiggle. And it fell on the ground and Mo picked it up and was just like, oh. And I was like, oh, that's mine. And I'm like, yeah, it's mine. But anywho, here we go. Amazing. Much too good. Much too good for children. My meal was amazing. I loved everything. The steak was one of the best steaks I ever had uh, on Disney property. And it's a little bit different than a ribeye. You know what I mean? I do love ribeyes. And this is something you can't eat a lot of, like Wagyu and stuff like that. But it was all good and full of flavor. I wish I could have stuck around for the sunsets or watching the fireworks. But I'm actually going to go meet up with some friends. And we're going to be uh, doing something cool that I want to show you guys and talk about a little bit. And now it's starting to rain a little bit. Like I said, it's been unpredictable here in Florida. Like it's been raining for a couple hours and then stopped raining and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's up and down. But now, yeah, it's pouring. Looks like there's a pool party in the Contemporary Resort parking lot. Look at that. Holy moly. That's so funny because it's kind of blocked off by those park, uh, parking spots right there. So it is like a little pool. This just shows you how much it's been raining. That's deep. I would say at least three or four inches right there. I do have an umbrella with me, but I didn't bring it out of the car because I'm afraid of losing it because it's a really special umbrella and I'll actually show you. But what's the point? I mean, it's a special umbrella, but I'm afraid to use it because it's so cool. Here is my umbrella right here. And let me take it out of the, the thing, the little wrapper for you. And let me show you this. Isn't this cool? I'm gonna open this up, flip it around a little bit. Where's the little button? There it is. Whoop. And check that out. Tiana's Bayou Adventure. And it's the same colors of Cafe Du Monde in New Orleans. I got this uh, on my last trip to New Orleans. How cool is that? Your first look at uh, some Tiana's Bayou Adventure merchandise. Very fancy. I have a bad habit of losing umbrellas, so I'm afraid to bring this with me anywhere because I'm afraid of losing it. Is there a Dalmatian home by any chance? Oh, there's one. 
Look at you! Let me see that smile. Come on, show it to me. Smile for me, yes. Oh, look at that smile. Look at that butt. Oh yeah, you wanna go for a walk? Come on, let's go. <laughs> Hurry up, Gracie. It's starting to rain. You gotta go to the bathroom. I always feel bad for dogs because like during hurricanes and storms, like Gracie will not go if it's like raining hard out, no matter what. Even if I stand out here with an umbrella, look at her with her tail in between her legs right now. Just those little raindrops she's not happy about. There you go, go pee pee. No privacy at all in this place. We have made our way over to my friend's house and we are going to get together and uh, we're going to do like a little podcast. Uh, we're just going to talk about, you know, traveling around the world, going to different cities and just hanging out and seeing how it goes. I'll, uh, I'll be releasing more details about it uh, later on, but I figured I'd give you guys a little sneak peek of our setup and maybe uh, a glimpse of what you could be looking forward to in the near future. I think it's going to be fun and I'm excited. I've never done a podcast like this and I'm happy to be doing it with a group of friends that I enjoy having conversations with. It's not going to be exactly just Disney. I think it's going to be focused more on doing things and cities and traveling around and stuff like that. And I kind of like that. It's different, you know, and uh, we're just experimenting. We're just experimenting, seeing where it goes and what happens. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. I looked up the amenities. All they have is a pool. <laughs> So, for a second there, I thought you were going to say the Cartoon Network Hotel. That's a good choice. Yeah. And it also leads into what I would do for, like, activity-wise or entertainment-wise. Of course, I, I, I've been there. And also, before we continue, we need to clear the air here. Everyone is saying <laughs> yeah? Lancaster wrong. Lancaster. Oh, it's Lancaster. 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 This is true. It's Who did it's, it's Lancaster. <laughs> Let's go you on have to Lane? add. It's it's like Lancaster, Lancaster, Lank, Lang, Lancaster, 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 Lancaster. <laughs> yeah. Everyone say it. Now, I mean, there's no right or wrong way of saying anything, but the you know people from Lancaster are probably like they're saying. Lancaster wrong. I have, That's a, good, how they I have a good friend from Lancaster. You know, Lancaster? It's kind of just, I think it's, a, it's a, the accent, you know what I mean? Like, you know, a couple two tree. Like I say that too. Like a couple two tree. And okay, like so I, I, we're going to do three count. We'll all say it together. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Lancaster. 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 What is Lancaster doing? Lancaster. <laughs> and that is Dutch Wonderland. Dutch Ooh. Wonderland. It Not is a, a uh, it's a uh, theme park. Well, it's it's mainly a kid theme park, and it's in Lancaster, and it has a lot of kid rides, and it has some wooden roller coasters, and it's really cool because when you first walk in, it's the castle facade, like it's a big castle, and you have to like cross a moat to go into the castle, and then it's a beautiful park, and it has a whole bunch of Amish and Dutch. Uh, heritage tied to it and also uh, like medieval times too so it's very strange like they have a roller coaster there called how Merlin long is this park? Dutch Wonderland yeah, how long is it it's pretty it's been it's been around for a long time I'm not too long but it is voted I believe by the gold ticket awards for the best child-friendly park tons of kids rides a ton. Specific award. Yeah. <laughs> now they have multiple other rides that are really unique they have a really cool animatronic band like the Country Bear Jamboree, oh. but it's outdoors. And it's really cool. It's like Chuck E. Cheese and the Country Bear Jamboree together. So, so is this what uh, the Goofy movies think? Possum Park. Possum. Yep. It's kind of like that, but not so much. Like, uh, like that, that, the whole Possum Park thing, that's what that the, the whole entire uh, Jamboree, you know, yeah. uh, the Possum Jamboree, I think that's what they call it, right? Yeah, I think so. Or something we'll like that. correction, yeah. Yeah, but they have something <laughs> just like that at Dutch Wonderland and they also have wooden roller coasters and then they have one of those crazy houses and I don't know if any of you guys have ever been on one of these attractions it's a house that you go in they have one at Six Flags Great Adventure I knew you were there Dee Dee's great yeah yes. but it's a smaller 
it's a scaled down version. So you go into this room and you sit down and the ride starts and you start like rocking and you really can't understand what's happening. But what's going on is you're sitting still and the whole building is rotating around you. Like, you, like the whole, like the whole building is rotating around, and you're sitting still. So it messes with you it's like so bad. It's an illusion. It literally, like, you feel like you're, you feel like you're going like this. Like it's, it's insane. I think it moves like this maybe, but like the house itself is like spinning around and around. Really messes you. It's really cool though, and it's right next to the Cartoon Network, and uh, it's cheap. It's affordable. Good food. Okay, well, we have Mr. Lincoln here. Lincoln. This guy is a big <laughs> fan of Shady Maple Buffet. Oh, yes. And Lancast Lincoln is very well known for, like, their um, Pennsylvania Dutch and their Amish, Amish buffets. Um, and Shady Maple is the largest buffet in the USA. They have a farm market. They have a gift shop, which, fun fact, is where Sister Walnut got yeah. her first ever bonnet from. No way! Wow. Yes. If I would have known that, I would have went and did the dance. The fact is, um, the dance? <laughs> we used to play a basketball tournament every year in Lancaster, and uh, we went, I don't know if it was exactly from Shady Maple, I have a feeling it was, but we went to one of the Amish buffets, and uh, Sister Walnut got her first bonnet there. But that is not my answer. True legend. What? That is not That's my not? answer. That's not? Wow. No. wow. I thought she was going smorgasbord. Oh. No. Smorgasbord would have been my choice. Smorgasbord is what they're, like, is the basic answer I felt. Oh. So I did a little bit more digging. And Lancaster is very well known for whoopie pies and pretzels. We are going to Hammond's Old Fashioned Handmade Pretzels. Oh. 4.8 out of 5 stars on Google. How many reviews? Six. <laughs> well, you have to you. look at sometimes that because they, okay, it, well, I mean, all family members. If it's only like six, six yeah, like seven, four point eight. Do the, have you been here before? Do the reviews match the amount of employees that work here? Yeah. <laughs> Great food. Okay, Love the pretzels. Well, they're a Pennsylvania Dutch style hard pretzel, and they've been around. The shop has been open since 1931. Wow. So, and the pretzel recipe is from well, the 1800s. The pretzel recipe is from the 1800s. Um, it is the oldest continuously family-operated handmade pretzel bakery in America. And I have a quote from one of the reviews on Google. I am not sure how old the oven is, but the building <laughs> looks like it was actually built around it. And that's the type of place I want to buy some food from. Yeah. Do you know what kind of oven this is? Because I love Dutch ovens. <laughs> General Dang, that, that was so good. <laughs> well, it oh, probably wow. is a Dutch oven. That was does. so good. <laughs> he set you up so good for that. Wow. Edit. What? A Dutch oven? Uh, is that like a, a slang or something? Or... <laughs> yeah. It's okay, you can look it up later. I don't worry about, about Pennsylvania Dutch. Yeah. And with that, we are done here today. Uh, I hope you liked the little preview of what we're working on. You know, we honestly don't know what we're doing. We're just kind of testing it out and having fun. And uh, I just figured I'd give you just a little bit of a, a little bit of a sample. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a fantastic day. Uh, California Grill was amazing. I loved all of my food. It was great just being up there and looking out at the Magic Kingdom. And uh, I approve of the new menu. I think it's fantastic. And uh, it's cool that you can still get the bar menu a little bit. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.